So after that very one-sided men's singles with Kinto Mamolta absolutely storming through against the former champion here, Lee Hyunil, we turn our attention to men's doubles and it's the defending champions, the only defending champions in the tournament now, uh, Lee Zhehui and Li Yang of Chinese Taipei. They're up against Kim Won Ho and Su Xiang Jae of Korea. Now, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, six different nations at quarterfinal stage, four seeds, two in each half of the draw. And now at semi-final stage, only two seeds are left in, one in each half, and four different nations involved. It's always lovely to see four different nations involved at semi-final stage, and it's only the fourth time that's happened this year after the Thailand Masters, the US Open, and the New Zealand Grand Prix Gold event. Well, here come the number one seeds and defending champions, Li Zhe and Li Yang Fresh, from their tour of Europe, where they won their first ever Super Series title in Paris. Won the French Super Series, uh, beating Boa Morgensen who had been the defending champions in that final. Semi-final, they beat the world champions. But here are the Koreans, the left and right-hander. Kim Won-ho is just 18 years of age. So Sung Jae, the left-hander, he's going to be a busy man because he's also in the semi-final of the mixed doubles with Kim Hana. So the toss of the coin, first duty of our umpire. Daruni Masumpong from Thailand, our umpire for this one. as far as the pair from Chinese Taipei, the defending champions, Li Zhe and Li Yang. They are enjoying their fifth week at a career high of number seven in the world ranking. And they won this title last year, beating Liu Kai and the now Olympic champion Jiang Nan. Well, he was Olympic champion this time last year, but not with the partner who he reached the final with a year ago. It remains their first and only Grand Prix gold title winning here a year ago. So Li Zhe Hui, 23. Li Yang. 22 and there you can see all three matches in two straight games in fact the longest match 32 minutes yesterday storms through the first against the vietnamese pair 19 minutes at 29 minutes against teammates in the second round and then against the japanese pair 32 minutes so really in tremendous form so here is kim won ho the 18 year old down two places in the world ranking this week, he and his partner. Only six tournaments towards that world ranking, but only five individual uh, tournaments. So the left-hander, Sir Seung Jae, was, believe it or not, a quarter-finalist here in the men's singles. That was two years ago. Lost out to Tian Hao Wei in three games, who then went went on to reach the final, beat Wei Nan and beat Ung Ka Long. Ung Ka Long was supposed to be the number one seed in the men's singles this year, but withdrew. So there you can see their first two matches in three games, and then their quarter-final was against the number three seeds, Takuto Inoue and Yuki Kaneko, the left and right-handed combination, who won the US Grand Prix gold, as we look at our court officials earlier this year. And that Japanese pair they beat yesterday who also reached the final of the Japan Super Series. And that a very convincing win yesterday for the Koreans.
So all four of our semi-finals today have been the first meeting between the two players or pairs. And all five will be. So the Koreans getting this semi-final underway. Both of the Korean players have been in Grand Prix Gold Tournament finals, but in the mixed doubles discipline, never in men's doubles. This man, Kim Won-ho, son of an Olympic gold, silver and bronze medalist, Gil Young-ah. She was the first ever player to win a full set of Olympic medals. Well, the pair from Taipei have always been an exciting pair to watch. Well, in these early stages, this time that interception there, Li Zhuhui, these early stages, it looks to me as if they've got a new level of confidence, willing to try shots and situations that perhaps they wouldn't normally. Much of doubles is working to try and set your partner up. Can't expect to be hitting too many winners from the back of the court, and therefore you want to hit the shuttle in a place that will involve your front court player.
his Grand Prix gold final in the mixed doubles. Kim Won Ho was at the US Open early this year with Shin Seung Chan. Actually lost to his men's doubles partner in that mixed doubles final. Lost to this man. Playing with Kim Ha Na. Venom. So He's a tall athlete. 183, that's about six foot tall. spring has gone, I think, in the racket of. Lee Yang, yep, off he goes. Did well to control that. Just wants to try out the new racket. Placement of the smash from Lee Jo Kuei. And the defending champions go to the mid game interval with a five point advantage. Just six minutes into the match. Choi Men Ho. drive defence which turned the momentum of the rally from this man. Mm. I think one choice of shot initially from Lee Jo Hui. Playing the net shot when his opponent was standing right at the net.
when this pair from Taipei are on the attack. They do look very, very impressive. So, the object for this pair, for Hong Korea, is to not allow their opponents free reign to attack whenever they want to. Because that's the pro Oh, it's called out. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. We saw it again than it did initially. <laughs> well, the umpire having a word with. Li Yang. I really don't know what the warning was about. We couldn't hear. Well, I certainly couldn't hear. So just one point in it now. And back level. I said earlier, I thought that they were oozing confidence after their win in Paris on their first ever Super Series title. But the pressure is on here. It's very, very different circumstances. They were the underdogs in Paris, playing against the former world number ones, Bo and Morgensen. Here, they're the defending champions and expected to win. Yeah, well left. Yeah, now that's what we're used to seeing from Lee Jo Hui. Grease lightning at the net. Turn. Oh. Straight at him.
Mm. Something not at all happy with the footwear of Li Yang. It's a couple of times he's sort of banged his heel and retied the shoelace. Time did he was there, and that could prove very costly indeed. Very, very few long rallies in this men's double so far. Oh, yeah, we're back level again. Oh. Oh, didn't look comfortable in the front there. So see young Jay. Opportunity falls to the Koreans. Yeah. And indeed, they convert. Take the opening game, Kim Won Ho and Su Siang Jae against last year's champions and number one seeds this year, Lee Jia Hui and Li Yang. 21-19 in 17 minutes. So the young Koreans, well, what a good opening game against last year's champions. 
Kim Won Ho and Seo Sen Jae were behind in the early stages. In fact, they were five points adrift at the mid-game interval. Christ, look at that. That's miles long. Well, the last men's doubles pair to retain a title here was Koo Kian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong. Both Malaysia, in fact, they won three consecutive titles, 2007, 8 and 9. Now, unless this pair pull their socks up, they won't be retaining their title either. And they've got a huge amount of talent, this pair from Taipei. And they're exciting to watch. And it's sometimes difficult when you've had a, the biggest win of your careers, which they did in Paris at the French Super Series, uh, to then experience the very different pressures of trying to defend a title. Uh, one of the Grand Prix gold events, a lower tier of tournament. In the back. Well, I think I said in about the mid game of game number one that the Koreans needed to stop their opponents attacking, and the best way to do that was get on the attack themselves, and they have managed that quite brilliantly ever since then. Ever since that mid game interval, really. Just unable to produce the sort of form today so far. This pair from Taipei that they showed at the French Open. Mm, and the frustration is beginning to show. That's wide. It's always a test of character for players who are unable to produce their best form. Do they have the character to stick with it, play themselves back into form? Part of the intrigue of sport, isn't it? And it's a trait of the champions that they're able to win when they're not playing their best. Oh dear. That's a poor error from Ijo Huay. Offering advice to his men. <laughs> oh, he's already got strong legs, hasn't he? Give him one hoe for an 18 year old. <laughs> oh, 
That's impressive play. Oh, it's landed in. No, just nothing is going right for the defending champions at the moment. No wonder the little shake of the head there. And a big sigh. Yeah, nothing appears to be going right. But this is the test of sports. You've got to pull yourself together overcome the bad times. But it's a wonderful advantage, a seven-point advantage for Kim Won Ho and So Siang Jae. Kim Won Ho didn't actually have the best of world junior championships. He was the number one seed in both the boys' doubles and the mixed doubles, but didn't manage to medal. Well, you see, that is the fact that after those World Junior Championships, the fact that he's come here very soon after that event in Jogjakarta. And quite frankly, if he and his partner continue like this, they'll be into the final. So he's had the character to bounce back after disappointment. Not that the pair from... Chinese Taipei have had disappointment. They've had huge success. In a professional sport, you've got to keep playing week after week after week. And you're only as good as your last result. At least that's what somebody told me once. I'm not convinced by it myself. Oh, that's called in. That's that's never. Well, oh, it's not worth the argument. They're so far in front. Mm. Powerful legs, powerful smash for an 18-year-old.
that was well taken from Kim Won Ho. Very sharp on the front of the court. Well, when the bubble bursts, it really does burst, doesn't it? Right at the match, start of the match, they look to be full of themselves. Lots of confidence, a couple of errors, and that bubble of confidence has just been deflated. is a day that they'll probably choose to run, forget last year's champions. Resistance. And surely far too little too late by Li Chu Wei and Li Yang. Match point opportunities. A whole host of them. Wan Ho and Sir Siang Jae through to their first ever men's doubles Grand Prix Gold Tournament final. Both have been in mixed doubles previously, but having swept aside last year's champions here today in the semi final, they tomorrow will contest a first ever men's doubles Grand Prix Gold 21 19, 21 8 in 33 minutes. So our last two matches, very one-sided indeed, and that's a big surprise to me. Next up, 
is mixed doubles and it's a brand new pairing two highly rated uh, players Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong are up against the number eight seeds Chung Ping Soon and Chi Yi Si of Malaysia now, as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned five different nations and seven uh, seeds the only seeds to not make it through to the quarterfinal were the number four seeds Dremen and Dimova of Russia they lost in the first round so semi-final stage and uh, the only discipline where we've got four seeds four different nations involved and four different nations for a second consecutive uh, Grand Prix gold tournament because we had that scenario in Saarbrücken at the Bitburger Grand Prix gold in the mixed doubles discipline So the Mal Malaysians coming on to court first. I think it's so dark, I can't really see them. Oh, there we go. Yes. Chan Peng Soon and Chia in C. Chia is trying to become the first ever female player from Malaysia uh, to reach the final of the Macau Open. Wang Yaxiong 